My name is Frauke Kreuter. I'm a professor for statistic and data science here at LMU Munich. And uh, my main research area is data and the quality of data that we use for evidence-based decision making. One thing that we often don't think about is that the data that we collect or find might not be immediately the right mirror of society that we are hoping to have. Right? At least for me, it happened when I uh, did a Google search a couple of years ago and typed in the search term university professor. And what I saw there was a series of images that showed quite some diversity on various factors such as age and uh, skin color. It wasn't necessarily the diversity that I was looking for, in particular not as a young upcoming female professor. And then lo and behold, I was giving a talk at a conference and the audience that I exposed to this Google search image um, picture did the search and said, well, it looks very different on my screen and noticed that Google had changed the search algorithm and about half the images now were female professors. This, of course, is not surprising. A company like Google or other big tech companies, they do care that they have proper representation. We can argue a little bit of if 50% of females really is uh, the current reflection of society. But here at least we had inherent knowledge about the society and knew something was wrong with the initial image. There are many cases in which we use data where we don't know that upfront. And we have to rely on algorithms being trained with the proper representation of training data. This can be a big problem when you have an interest in minorities. Those are by definition small groups and we have, by definition, less data about these small groups. So when an algorithm trains, for example, a face recognition algorithm, then the algorithm is relying on having sufficient data, even for small groups, to learn the features that highlight specific characteristics. Because minorities might be shy on giving away their data, and because these are small groups, we really, as researchers, have to make sure that we pay attention to the set of training data that goes in there. Otherwise, we end up in situations like famous facial recognition systems that end up predicting very poorly for minority groups, for example, um, females with dark skin colors having trouble being recognized by these systems.